you, this may look like just a scene from a movie, but to those in Sierra Leone, it is their reality. Poitou Town is the fourth largest city in Sierra Leone and is the major center of the diamond trade. The revolutionary United Front has smuggled at least $360 million in diamonds from Liberia. Once the diamonds are transported to Liberia, they are sold to major companies all over the world, such as Vanderkamp and De Beers. When the movie Blood Diamond was released, these companies and many others no longer used conflict diamonds imported from the Once a diamond has been polished, it's near impossible to tell where it came from. So that ring on your finger may have just cost someone their life. The Revolutionary United Front, or the RUF, was a rebel army that fought a failed 10-year war in Sierra Leone from 1991 to 2002. The RUF have used over 23,000 child soldiers that were used to attack villages and guard diamond fields. According to Human Rights Watch, over 50,000 people have been killed to date, with over 1 million people being displaced due to the diamond conflict. The diamond conflict has been problematic for many people. Families have been split up, villages have been burned down, people have lost limbs, lives, and loved ones. In the U.S., diamonds are a $60 billion industry. And even if only 1% of those diamonds were from Africa, that gives the country about $600,000 to buy cheap assault rifles and missiles, killing thousands of people each year. Not only has the movie Blood Diamond acknowledged the conflict diamond situation in Africa, but through the movie, the cast and crew has raised between $200,000 and $400,000 to raise a Blood Diamond fund which helped the country of Mozambique, South Africa, where the movie was filmed. This fund has made wells, fixed roads, and helped prevent the purchase of conflict diamonds. There are many things that you can do to help stop the usage of blood diamonds, such as you can make an effort to buy non-conflict diamonds and avoid purchasing diamonds from companies that are known to use them. You can also purchase genetically engineered diamonds which are grown in a laboratory, or you can buy Canadian certified diamonds with polar bears engraved in them. If one person refuses to buy a conflict diamond, that can save the lives of many people in Africa. Throughout the history of Africa, whenever a substance of value is found, the locals die in great number and in misery. According to a devastating report by Global Witness, these stones are being used to purchase arms and finance civil war. The Freetown government! And the white masters have wrecked your land to feed the grid. Are you worth this fighting for the people? Are you worth this fighting for Sierra Leone? Diamonds are forever, it is often said. But, but lies are not.